you know me, SDMT, the New York Giants fired Ben McAdoo and Jerry Reese today. Now, this is a long time coming. There have been many reports that McAdoo lost the locker room and then also the whole Eli Manning fiasco, which I didn't post about, but we're going to get into this right now, them benching Eli Manning at this point in the season and the way they did it. And Eli Manning has done so much for that team for him to get done in that manner. You knew that this was going to, you know, this is going to be a bad outcome to this whole situation. And McAdoo, only being with the Giants for a few seasons, he already had, you know, distanced himself from the players. And there was not a lot of good chemistry going on with the head coach and the players. He pretty much lost that locker room, also lost, lost his quarterback with the way he was handling the situation. A lot of coaches are better coordinators than they are coaches. Being able to hold other coaches accountable and also keep their team together motivate them and galvanize them to be focused on one goal. Not all coordinators can be successful head coaches. McAdoo all definitely struggled as a head coach and this season was definitely, you know, showed that the whole time. You know, you had the Giants coming into the season, people were talking about how are you gonna stop them? They have OBJ, they have Brandon Marshall, they got Shepard. They got Eli Manning. Their offense is going to be prolific, going crazy. Everybody was talking about the Giants. Who's going to stop them? And this season, everybody has been stopping them. They have had a lot of injuries, but even before that, they weren't that successful as they were supposed to be. This season has definitely been a down year for the Giants. It's been definitely been disappointing for Giants fans when they had such high expectations. You can't blame them. They added a lot of, you know, free agent talent, some good rookies, and things definitely haven't gelled well under McAdoo. Jerry Reese, the general manager, also was fired, so they weren't happy with his decision making and also probably backing up with McAdoo some of the bad decisions that he made. Um, the owner decided it was time for a change. And I think this is going to be great for the Giants. I think the Giants need to go in, the new, new, within it, in a new direction with their coaching. And um, this could be something to hopefully get them next season back on the right track. They're a very talented team. They have a lot of talent. They should never pretty much be 2-10 and 10 or, you know, in early in the draft, getting early draft picks. Now, they might luck up and get them a great player and help their, you know, turn their team around and get them back on track. So, this is huge. New York Giants, fire the coach, fire the general manager. They're looking to start new and do something different. Also, Eli Manning will be in the starting lineup, so they're bringing Eli back into the starting lineup, which is pretty messed up. He lost his, you know, his streak of all these games that he was going on, and he pretty much got sat down for one game, and then they bring him back. So it kind of also shows that the decision was more of the head coach and the GM than it was of the owner. He didn't agree, so he ended up getting rid of them, especially for all the backlash that they got for the way they treated Eli. He brought them two rings. He's been consistent. He's Probably could have had games he could have missed with injuries, but he's just old faithful. He's there, he's showing up, and he's doing his best. Now, Eli is very erratic at times, but when he's hot, he's hot. And he's proven that with those Super Bowl rings. So the Giants need to make these changes, and hopefully they're more, more competitive in the um, future. So don't forget, like, subscribe, and let me know what you guys think in the comments. This is a great topic, and this is some great news that happened today. So you guys let me know what you guys think in the comments below. SDMT!